Amid the coronavirus crisis, rumors are continuing to swirl, and tonight one police department is on damage control over one of its own officers. Three's on the street tonight. Chris Welty joining us live in St. Martinville with the story. Chris. Marcel, tonight the St. Martinville Police Department is apologizing for the actions of one of its patrol officers. While the department does not believe there was any malicious intent, the department, we're told the officer allegedly spread false information about the COVID-19 pandemic. The person was getting it from a credible source. I mean, the person was wearing a badge. St. Martinville Police Public Information Officer Adam Tushet says public servants need to be held to a higher standard, especially when sharing information about the coronavirus. As long as everybody can stay informed, uh, it'll cure panic. And uh, it'll keep people safe. Tushet says Chief Ricky Martin received a call from a concerned resident who heard third hand information allegedly coming from one of his officers. They had heard a rumor that an officer had told a friend of a friend not to accept face masks because they might be laced with some kind of chemical that would cause you to be knocked out. The, the story is very, very outlandish. Hours later, the department received another tip that the same officer told residents that St. Martinville would be going on lockdown. Gas stations, grocery stores, and other essential businesses would close. That was alarming to us right off the bat because it was just false. And uh, we don't think the spread of false information is productive at all at this time. And that goes double for uh, the men and women of the St. Martinville Police Department. The chief has addressed the misinformation with the officer and Monday evening, the department posting on Facebook, reminding residents to fact check even when they believe their source is credible. Any information you're hearing that sounds too good to be true or sounds really sensational, you wanna, you wanna fact check that against multiple sources. At this time, it's unclear if the officer is facing disciplinary action. We're told the chief will meet with his officer tomorrow. Three's on the street live in St. Martinville. Chris Welty, KTC TV3.